Hi, I'm Zach. This is Ravenous Badger Gaming, and I am playing through Donkey Kong Country. Just in case the video title and title card in front of you didn't tip you off on that. So yeah, this is... I happen to like this game quite a bit with a few little caveats. I mean, I probably wouldn't be playing through a game like this if I didn't like it in some way, but... Yeah, oh, and it came out when I was two years old, so kind of an old game at this point, but you know what? I tend to like older games, so... Well, I happen to also like some modern games, I just don't play a ton of them because money. But, you know what? Enough of that. Let's just get started, and... I don't have a second person, and honestly, I never had a second person with me enough to ever really be interested in these two-player modes. Who knows? I may show them at some point in the future. I don't know. Let's just get started with the game and the first level, Jungle Hijinks. Now, one thing that is definitely the old game style of this is through here. There's really no need for much more of a story than Donkey Kong had all his bananas stolen by a pirate. That's really about all the story we're going to get for this game, so, you know, let, let's run with it. Let's see where that goes. Now, as I said, I didn't really grow up with this game, but I grew up around it. I knew a lot of people that had it. I did not. I had the sequel. That was the game I grew up with, so I tended to... Okay, let's go back to the start. Oh, and if you break these Donkey Kong barrels, you get the new character to this game. New. It's a 22-year-old game. No, 23. At words. Dates. You get Diddy Kong, who was new at the time. So maybe I can actually do what I was attempting to show off here. Now, in this game, I've noticed that in this game... Okay, that was not what I intended to do. You have a barrel. You can take this little metal barrel, and if you do it just right, you throw it against that wall, jump on it, and you will probably coast through most of the level here. Uh, you can jump in things here, but it's really just kind of more fun to let it just keep going for as long as it will. Oh, there's the animal buddy, but we're not getting into that yet. We're just going to go straight into one of the bonus levels. And yeah, since Donkey Kong is slightly taller than Diddy, he gets all the bananas there, but Whatever. Bonus levels, that's one area where, like I said, I like this game, I do not like this game and its bonus levels. Let me put it that way. They're kind of just not something I find myself really enjoying much. There, There's something up there, isn't there? Okay. Uh, I switched over to Donkey Kong and... Uh, I'm not finding anything. You know what? It's dark. Let's just get out of this. Unfortunately, it's not nearly as simple as a celebratory jingle would let you think, because if you notice, there is just the name of this level up there at the top. Yeah, we're going to need to do some things kind of different now, because this game, like I said, bonus levels. You need to get all of the bonus levels in order to... Well, have completed the game completely, which is because Rare has this very interesting um, collectathon style to their games that I think really started with this one. You don't get 100% in this game. You get 101% if you manage to get everything because there was a very strange... <sighs> okay, so I apparently can't get through all the treetops in this thing. Whatever. You know what? We're just gonna... Oh, that's the... Of course I get hit after I break the DK barrel, but those barrels with all the stars on it, that's the midway point of each level, roughly. God, I thought for a second I actually died here. I took a hit that could have killed me. I'm going back here for a reason. Yeah, going in there kind of resets the level, so I go into that whenever it's like, yeah, you know, though technically, technically, since I have completed the level, what you can do is this, start and then select, and you'll be taken back out to the, well, level select screen. However, since we got the midway barrel, 
we're gonna be starting it out there. So, yeah, you get that. These, oh, uh, we got a little uh, golden token of... Espresso the Ostrich. I can already tell this is going to be immensely fun. We'll get into this golden token later. For now, we've got a rhinoceros on the loose, so... Oh, same bonus level, I was already in. And Rambi plus Diddy equals tall enough to get all the bananas. See, if I go right off of where the bonus level drops me off and I nose my way through there, I get that, so... Now, one thing to note about these bonus levels, even though I'm actually trying to complete it here, is that you don't need to actually succeed at whatever the bonus level is. You don't need to get the animal token here in order for it to count, you just need to get in there. So, it's not quite the way it was in the later games in the series. And trust me, we'll get into the later games in the series eventually. They, they are, well, they're interesting. And yes, I know that I completed Jungle Hijinx 100%, but I never actually played through the level. I, I, I've been skipping around all over the place because, oh, I accidentally got through this thing, so you know what? Let's just, let's throw a bone to the developers and actually play through most of the level that they designed and stop going after all the one-up balloons at the top, which I keep failing at. I swear there are more, but I keep failing at them. Now, I also forgot to mention, I did collect all of them and get the extra life from it, but those Kong letters, if you get all the letters that spell out Kong, well, you get an extra life. And I'm going to skip over that bonus er, bonus level because we've already seen it a couple of times. See? Kong. Yeah. Extra life. And that's what happens if you fail. Honestly, sometimes you're going to want to fail the bonus levels on purpose because they just take so freaking long sometimes. And there we go, for the third time in this video, we are at the end and I swear there is something over top of there. Whatever. Let's move on. So after all of that, and that's just the first level of the game, <laughs> we'll go on to Ropey Rampage, which, oh, this... This level, this level is... something. I... As you may as you may guess, I do not consider myself to be good at video games. I play a fair amount of video games, and I can be good at some of them. Thing is, I have to essentially play a game to the point of near memorization, or at least a specific segment of a game to near memorization, before I could say that I was any good at it. As you may note from the fact that I just keep getting hit here randomly all the time. And I know I am going to be missing all of the bonus levels in this because there are... They're here somewhere. I do not currently remember where they are. And I'm carrying the TNT barrel because I thought I might find a wall against which to try and break it. Because... They're not always in the most obvious spots. There's... there's the frick. Okay, armadillo guys. Armadillo, which are called something. I don't know. You tell me. They... When Diddy jumps on them, it takes two hits to kill them. When Donkey Kong jumps on them, it takes just one. So, I have died an embarrassing number of times to them with Diddy because I simply had to jump. Now, if they're not rolled up, and Diddy jumps on them, you can kill them in one go. But, unfortunately, I have very awkwardly many times died to them because, well, it gets a little bit... It's kind of a little awkward when the enemy you're facing... Aha! There's a bonus barrel. I knew there was one here. It's a little awkward when the enemy you're facing keeps just, you know, not quite dying and you bounce off of them weirdly. Now, this one, yeah, just simple shell game. You figure out where it went. I usually kind of let my eyes slide out of focus and just keep an eye on the tail of the balloon and see where the last place is that ended up. It works pretty well. Now, if I recall correctly, I am one bonus level short of... 
probably the exclamation point doesn't give you an indication of how many there are, it just gives you an indication that you missed something. So, yeah. Now begins the search. So, if you collect three of the animal tokens, what you get is a little bonus area where you go around and collect, you know, banana-ish size tokens of that animal. I don't know what that counter is doing because that is not counting down seconds. I'm sorry, this is not counting down seconds. I don't know what it's doing, but it's doing something. You get a hundred of these freaking things and they get you a life. So they're always easier to collect in the beginning because there's just more of them that are there. I am not gonna be able to get up to four lives here, am I? Nope, 395, just five short, so yeah. It can be kind of useful if you're running low on lives, and especially if you keep dying in the same level over and over again, you will probably keep collecting the same one over and over again, so it may work out, but a lot of times it just takes up a lot of time. <laughs> you went right there! I only collect all these because I know I'll need the lives. There we go. That's how you get to a bonus level here. And, okay, just stupid bananas. All right, what's at the end? The letter N. Okay, that's wonderful. Well, okay, don't I feel like I skipped a lot of the level? <laughs> well, I got the exclamation point, so I don't even know what I was doing there. And, do we visit Cranky? We'll visit Cranky. Canonically, the older Donkey Kong from, well, Donkey Kong. Okay, you're a jerk. You loaned me the bananas they were stolen and now you ask for them back. Yeah, no, the games did not look like this when you were a kid. They looked like this. Oh, God. More old people claiming the world used to be so much better than it was. Yeah, that, that seems... Yeah. Notice... Notice every time he smacks Diddy, you hear the noise, but he's not moving at all. Minor limitation of this. You know, this stuff just gets funnier. Oh, the leap of faith is all it takes to find Winky in Barrel Cannon Canyon. That may come in handy later. And yes, we've already figured out that Rambi can break into secret entrances. Hidden entrances. But... And fourth wall just disappears completely. Yeah, the technical jokes in there are even funnier now because, well... Yeah, 32 megs being anything now? Yeah, sure, let, let, let's go with that. Since I'm now more than a gigabyte into recording this. You know what? Anyway, Reptile Rumble. Bringing on the first of the, I guess, cave design? Yeah, one thing that comes up is that these levels, there are different themes to these levels. They don't tend to, unlike the, the games in the Donkey Kong Country series, tended to follow a bit of a, there would be kind of general patterns, but you don't have the ice world and forest world and Fire World and those kinds of things. I mean, you do to a point, but they would have levels that were all kinds of things within a single world. So, we were in the jungle ones, now we're in the caves, and there will be caves showing up in future levels, future worlds, you know. You don't just have them all in one place, so... It's kind of, it's almost like there's a dominant theme to each world, and then they have differences within them, but... And I could go and figure that all out and tell you... Oh, yeah, 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 the theme of this world is blah, 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 blah. There are, you know, 40% of the levels of them. Yeah, I, that requires a lot of effort. And I'm not allergic to effort. I just... I am not allergic to effort. I really just... Yeah, I don't feel like going to and doing that. Because... I, I don't know. Because I basically sat down and decided to do this. 
without too much preparation, so... I, I, I tend to have that problem. Ooh, let me just do a thing. How do you do the thing? I, yeah, I'll figure it out as I go. I am figuring this out as I go, even though I've done this before. So, yeah, make of that what you will, okay. And yay, I got all the Kong letters, and let's hope that I, let's hope that I don't have to, yeah, I have to go back. I have to go back and figure out where the missing bonus levels are, because I missed some bonus levels. There we go, there is one. And we crawl through this, get a one-up. Okay, I'm telling you, all these lives will come in handy for me later. And big jump over a lot of blood. And that was it! I actually managed to get through that, and you heard me smacking myself, like, celebratory hitting myself on the leg, because that's, that's a thing. Alright. So yeah, that was, <laughs> that was, um, the, that was the beginning of Donkey Kong Country, and, well, you know, it's, I don't know. I have fun doing this. Did you have fun watching it? I certainly hope you did. I'll see you next time.